Dear family and friends, we have gathered at this appointed time and place on this day to be part of one of the most joyful and blessed moments of a couple's life. We are here to witness the wedding of, of this man and this woman, promising them our support and expressing our love for them. Shall we therefore share in the uniting of Peter and Arlene as husband and wife by coming to the Lord? Arlene, our big day is finally here gorgeous and I couldn't be any more excited. Today I will be the proudest husband and I know you will look stunning. Today I will finally be able to say my wife. I didn't know if I would ever find true love and then I met you. The last five years you have shown me what true love is and I'm so grateful for that. Thank you for helping me become the man, partner, and father I am today. Thank you for being the strong, loving mother you are to our girls. Thank you for loving me the way you do. You are not only the love of my life, but also my best friend. And I'll always be thankful for everything you do, love you unconditionally, and promise never to take you for granted. I couldn't be any more ready to start this new chapter in our lives, so hurry up and get your booty down the aisle. I will be anxiously waiting. I love you more every day. Peter Andrew. It's a late night On a lonely street I can't hide, can't hide I see the sun rise The truth is waking up in me I can't hide, I can't hide as most of you know, Arlene's time with her mother was cut short <laughs> the day the Lord called her home. Pete, I really wish you and Lacey would have had the privilege of knowing her. And know a poem I would like to read. If roses grow in heaven, Lord, please pick a bunch for me. Place them in my mother's arms and tell her they're there for me. Tell her I love her and I miss her. And when she turns to smile, place a kiss upon her cheek and hold her for a while. I love you guys. Congratulations. <laughs> very weekend, we went on our first date. I remember thinking as the word stains poured out of your mouth that this is going to be fun. To my surprise, I felt so comfortable around you like I had known you for years. We have always had a strong connection that was too tough to ignore. I am so happy and excited to be marrying my best friend today. I can't wait to walk down the aisle and see you standing there and to say I do. Love you always, Arlene. Doesn't matter where I
this ring, I thee wed, and to thee I will be true. With this ring, I thee wed, and to thee I will be true. By the owning of vows and by the lighting of a single candle, I therefore, as a minister of Christ, pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride and you your husband. I'm not in the wedding, but um, I am Stacy. I'm Arlene's cousin. And I'm here to liven things up. You two are so, you know. All right, yes. In our family, when we get together, we like to have a good time at each other's expenses. So, um, one time, why, you know that, right? Yeah, you know that. Anyway, one time, we were at my house, and Arlene has very tiny hands, if you all can't tell. They're like very disproportionate to her body. <laughs> so um, I think it was my brother started in and we came up with a little story about a T-Rex. Look, Arlene, there's your twin. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gets it. <laughs> Clumsy. <laughs>